You're listening to Bizarre Buffet, a podcast of all-you-can-eat weird. I'm your host, Mark Toriello. I'm Jen Wilson. And I'm Mark Blustein. There'll be food and drink and ghosts. And perhaps even a few murders. You're all in private. When we first went in, one of the people said, Who are you? And Tech said, I'm the devil, and I'm here to do the devil's business. Hey, everyone. Hi, everyone. We're back. Hi. Another episode of bizarre buffet that's right this is number what 45 i think 45 yeah look at that wow so sensual that number and to think that we just celebrated our one year anniversary yeah we did you know we've been promising you there's been a teaser out for a while now so a lot of you have been very interested about seeing this or hearing this episode rather about a second life now we have our special guest with us, Ashley, who flew all the way in. From the next town over. From the next town over. <laughs> on her jet. Ashley, tell us a little about, for our eager listeners, what is Second Life? All right. Well, Second Life is a virtual world online. I refer to it as a game. Some people refer to it as a social network. Okay. Now, my understanding of it is definitely both, I think, where there is a lot of people who use it for gameplay, but then it is a whole other universe. Now, I'm always interested in the aspects of what make this game like truly a second life. So I know for you, it's more about gameplay. Is that correct? Very much, yes. It's right? a game to That's me. like, yeah, now, like you have fun. And you have like your own avatar, right? Yes. The avatars are pretty much a resemblance of themselves for some people, maybe what they really want to be. Many different options there. For some people, for people who live out fantasies in terms of their professions right? right so what are some of the professions that people have in their second lives well the, there's a bunch of different ones however there's definitely a lot of um, content creators so that can be clothing for your avatar houses furniture mm -hmm. those are the okay. more like normal things i would say but what's interesting is they're actually brands it's not just here's a chair and you can download it like you know the company you know they have an actual brand yeah and so then, like in regular or rl real so life like, is it an more interactive live version of the sims yes you don't have needs or anything you can download something that would give you needs to play okay. like the sims to me it's the closest to grand theft auto online oh that's very interesting yeah. that's a fun game but much better looking and more detailed yeah <laughs> so. it is very detailed and ashley has a blog which we'll tell you more and about later but. you can chat live with people correct yes oh, um, wow. anyone that you're around who else is online at the same time as you that's kind of the social network part of it where you can chat you have groups if you join like a stores group or a role play group or whatever you can talk to people all day so basically second life is a huge online universe where you can really create who you want to be yes. yeah. it kind of sounds it's very like, world intriguing it sounds like world of warcraft and the sims and grand theft auto yeah you I all think... have a baby yeah and it's yeah second life yes. <laughs> yeah yeah what i love about that in many different like art forms you know people create personalities for themselves or right. personas yeah. you know there's countless people who have done that and i think you know for this game it seems like people really get the opportunity to pursue that and elaborate and you know it's a it's a form of escapism yeah most yeah. certainly but i'm always fascinated of course because you know i'm the trash peddler of the group <laughs> as ashley knows we've all known each other for a very long time we sure have longer than we'd like to admit because it implies our age but <laughs> now i know ashley you've seen many aspects of it now when we talk about the game or second life rather i'm always interested in tell me about the strip clubs tell me about all the crazy you know gimps and the fun and the fetish people and yes. all this now 
you know, Ashley is more pure. Um, she's not of God, but she is purer <laughs> than I think my intentions would be. Like, I would just want to do the worst things ever. Yes. I'd be like, you would. like yeah, where you can would. I sell myself? I'm sex positive worker. Can you kill that. people on Second Life? That's no. a whole subreddit, isn't it? Not like, not like huh. their actual avatar, but within role play communities, you can. Like, the character of Mark no longer exists. He was killed. But, oh. like, your avatar is still there. Like, you just wouldn't be a part of it anymore or you'd make a new character i think so you can't like technically murder no and i feel like that was like a csi wasn't there like a csi episode SVU. where they svu now what did they do on svu they made it where that was something that you could do you could be a murderer on or I what was the premise? don't think it was that the episode was that this girl was kidnapped and they found out that she was a teenage hooker in another universe essentially second life and she was kidnapped by this guy who was one of her fans in the game oh my gosh so can you tell us a little bit about like different types of relationships that people actually have made on second life or different types of like weird stories of people meeting up in real life through second life or just weird things that you might encounter on second life there's a lot i know this is a rabbit hole it is (laughs) it truly is buckle up everybody um the weirdest one to me would be people that have a partner in real life but still get married in second life no judgment i just personally would not be comfortable like getting involved sexually you know on text or some people do cam with yeah. someone when i have a partner that would be to me akin to like dirty texting which i would be super pissed if tom did so i'm not gonna yeah. do that either. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and for all of you listening we're gonna get tom ashley's partner in because here soon we want we want, a, we, we want we, tom to be a yeah, we commentator want, yeah we would we would like his perspective on it and we want to bring you all many many aspects to this you were discussing about people getting married in second life yes and they can actually have sexual relations with each other yes can you see their like private parts yes they have like what oh my god see there's so like for everyone listening there are so many aspects of this so if it's all over the place just bear with us because it's more excited can you tell us a little bit about people who maybe have met in real life on second life but their avatar wasn't who they really were Oh. That be I don't personally know any of that. The only ones that I've seen have been in like documentaries of people who so met. tell us. Yeah, the documentary that was on what yeah. Netflix? It's on yeah. Netflix. Based on that, there were people who met. I think there are definitely people who use Second Life as a dating app. They'll try to find like a real life partner based on it. I know people have gotten married from it. Wow. Like in real in, yeah, in real life. First life, in real yeah. life. Okay. Wow. That's very interesting. We had watched the documentary with Ashley and Tom. It was very interesting for many reasons, but I think part of what was fascinating was the couple that had met. They were both married at the yeah. time. So they had oh this second, God. yeah, it's, it's a complex world. They were both married at the time. And I think briefly in the documentary, they follow the, I guess, beginnings of this relationship yes. oh, and okay. not for nothing but the guy seemed like a little bit of a fucking dick in my yeah, opinion he seems to be like a control freak yeah he like got very kind of snippy. yeah snippy mm-hmm. and i don't know i use tons of profanity but in the context of which he was doing it he sounded like a fucking dickhead i mean there's just so many things that you could explore with this you know even into the uh, i wouldn't call it true crime realm but in essence of there are people who have kids that have gone starving from yes. people playing this game. Oh, yeah. yes. Tell us about like the investment. Tell us about the starving children. Yeah, so there was apparently a couple who were running a strip club in Second Life, which required a lot of their attention to the point that they let their real-life child or children starve. Wow. Um, I don't think they died. I think they were rescued, but mm-hmm. to the point that they were so absorbed in Second Life, they completely neglected no. real life. Isn't it too, like, people invest hundreds and thousands of dollars into this game as well? Yes, they do. And there are people, though, who make hundreds and thousands off of it as well. It's a full-time job. Yeah. Because when Ashley was saying earlier about people who design, essentially, how we're sitting at this table, there will be somebody who designs this table yep. that you can purchase. And there are people who are, I guess, they have stores, well, right? Like video are, game designers. Yeah, yeah. Essentially, just a different, you know. Yeah, depending on the level of how much you're designing, like, but a lot of creators put out something every week or several times a week. Like, if you have a big store like that, I'm sure you're making 
like a full-time income. Yeah. Now, what about the people who spend a lot of money? So the people who spend, I guess, a lot of money on the game, do you think it's every tax bracket of people? Like, do you think it's a type of thing where it becomes something where it's addictive? Well, so everything in Second Life costs actual money. Nothing is, well, there's free items, but for essentially nothing is free. To really play, you got to. So like actually buy furniture, you have to pay. Correct. Oh, like real money. Shit. Like yeah. how much? Like what? So is the, the price range? The, so Good the question. conversion rate for one linden, two hundred and forty lindens, is about one dollar United States dollars. Wow. And so just like uh, off the top of your head, as best as you can, what can two hundred and forty lindens get you in Second Life? Not much. Pretty much everything is two fifty. Okay, interesting. So, so you got okay. it off the bat. You need at least like two dollars, two, $2 yeah. real dollars. Yeah, um, it's like the penny slots in uh, Atlantic City. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. You definitely need to invest like at least some money into it. Okay. So there's some people who don't. They get buy on just freebies. That's fine. They choose to do that. If you want to get super customized, you have to be willing to put money in. You know, I mean, it's like yeah. any other game. Once again, not unconventional in a negative sense, but it only seems more unconventional because of the realm that it's in. Mm-hmm. Okay. There are plenty of games where on PlayStation or Xbox, you have to buy, oh, an upgrade pack or or this, and that's 40, 50 bucks a pop, whereas 40 or 50 on that game can probably get you a lot of shit in Second Life. It's very polarizing. Like, there's definitely people in Second Life who refuse to put any money into it. If they spend, like, $15, they're like, oh, my God, never again. Like, (laughs) that's, like, ridiculous to them. But But people feel differently. It gets into, it's all perspective, in my opinion, right? It gets into the subject of what do you pay for entertainment as a human being in real Mm -hmm. life outside of this game what do you pay to go to a bar one night to go to a dinner there's people who don't do that either they think that like going to the movies is stupid or oh god well Well, you know listen one thing i find so interesting is the (laughs) one the amount of options that you have on items or things that you can purchase on second life and also the level of detail Yes. I mean, yeah. you can buy skins, Ashley's like, literally skin. like which is her. I mean, you can tell, like, all of the things, all of the components are part of her. So can It's you, very personal. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit about your character and, like, yeah. what does your character do? And what yeah. is, like, your, what is your second life? Yeah. So, for me, personally, I like to explore. So, there's a lot of people who just make, like, different, they call, they're called sims, like, worlds that you can go to and look around. Like, someone will make, like, Paris or London or... You know, oh yeah, you showed me Amsterdam before. Yes, I showed you the Amsterdam <laughs> one. Like people make like okay. cities or towns. I really like to go to those. There's like safari ones. I like to look at that. But what do you do when you get to these places? Just look I personally around. just walk around. I don't I'm not big into interacting yeah. with people. I'm very like shy with that. I I just don't. And I can relate to that because when Mark and I would play like Grand Theft Auto, oh, yeah, I, I would not either. I would yeah. just play it to drive around and yeah. like see oh, the escape. So much fun. And then that's run the people part. over. Yeah. I'll do missions, but like <laughs> yeah. I, people are always like, Oh, do you have a mic? Like, no, I'm not talking to it, you. It feels very I don't know. It feels a little too personal because it's supposed to be kind of disconnected, yeah, but like, right. you know, I think it's it's the level that you want it to be. So some people yeah. are very into making connections with other people, mm-hmm. getting involved in the sexual aspect, which I'll go more into. Yeah. But for me, it's just exploring. I just enjoy that. I like seeing what people made. Yeah. And then yeah. I take a lot of photos from my blog. So a lot of times it's like modeling the clothes or, you know, whatever little handheld do yeah. dad i have yeah and it's very to... curated it is yeah, yeah. it is and, and you I... play no games no <laughs> i mean and i mean to me just in my opinion it's like you know no different than an artist who works in a certain form some people just do this like for you it's more just about the experience for you it's not so much any yeah. of the interacting or anything right. else I like just, yeah i enjoy just Taking photos, I like editing photos. I've always done that over the years it, with regular things, not just video games. So for me, it's definitely that. It's a creative outlet. Yeah. And I like to decorate my house. I find that really therapeutic. Is there an initial fee to sign up? No, it's completely free. And then you can put in however much money you want or don't want. Okay. But you want to like really look a certain way, the way that you want, you got to put like, money I'll in. Put, I'll put it this way, and I don't know what this says about me, and I'm sure, you know, there's probably some... Uh, 
Freud expert who could elaborate on this, but I told Ashley, I'm like, I want to be plastic surgery mishap. A lot of people are. I'm sure. But I'm like, but to them, for me, I'm just like intrigued by that. I don't know. In real life, would I get to a point where I would just do tons of fucked up surgeries and make myself look as fucking just <laughs> distracting as possible? I yes. hope not. Do you I mean, use your real not. name? No. You don't well, use your real name. Not, uh, not in our bed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use my, my real name, though, even on like Instagram or anything. Like for me, I that would be fun to me for whatever reason. Yeah. I don't know why, but it would be. Because you can it's do it. It's appealing. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. There's something that's just very fascinating about that. What I would like to do at this point in time, we have an individual. He flew all the way in once again. From Brooklyn, New York. From Brooklyn, New York. Via London. Via London. London. So we have Tom, Ashley's life partner in their first life. Tom, what I'm curious to know is as somebody who has observed Ashley play Second Life, Mm -hmm. what is your experience of watching Ashley play Second Life? So when Ashley and I first started dating, we actually Ashley would always show me her Sims. So, yeah, of course um, she Sims. would. Yeah. Yes, we know that. We know you love the Sims. <laughs> Friday, night, years, Friday night Sims and Tingas. Yes. <laughs> I used to make the boy Sims kiss. <laughs> you can. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> I'd love Sims. So yeah, the second life kind of feels like a logical progression from Sims. Now, you don't play, correct? I don't play those games, no. I okay. do play a lot of computer games. i software developer by trade, so um, it's definitely of interest to me. One of the cool things about Second Life, as well as building objects like tables, they actually have a programming language um, which lets you write mini computer programs that define how the sims interact with the characters hmm. or the, the objects. Interesting. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Sure. Um, I've looked at it. It's, it's a pretty regular uh, scripting language. It's preparatory to the game. So it's kind of like, well, as JavaScript is to a web page, this is, this is uh, the uh, scripting language to the, to the models in Second Life. I don't know what Java is. <laughs> it's <laughs> Java the Hut. No. It's like Adobe or something, right? Adobe. Another question that we had, and I know, Mark, you were really eager to talk about this. Was yes. the subreddits? Yeah. So, like, okay. So, for me, the way that I see this is it's probably just as large of a universe and world as, say, Reddit. I is. would agree. Yeah. So, you know, on Reddit, you have like subreddits, you have Reddit groups. Like, I belong to Reddit because I subscribe to a few pages where it's fucked up pictures yeah. or yeah. postmodern mansions. So, it's very curated. And But then on Reddit, there's that dark side too. There's some really dark shit on Reddit. Very, you know, like people that like eyeballs and. All sorts of, I mean, I don't look at that, but, well, maybe I do, but, <laughs> I, but, you know, like, I wonder, like, so with Second Life, are there, like, subcultures that exist in it that, you know, you know about that would be kind of perfect for the Bizarre Buffet universe? Yes. So the biggest one would be sex in Second Life. There is an enormous population of people who play Second Life just for the sexual activities. That's probably 75% of the user base, honestly. It's not something that interests me for the reasons I said. Like, I would not feel comfortable. It's a real person on the other side of there, so I'm not comfortable with that. I was single. I probably still wouldn't be. There's a lot of things that I just like, it's not my personal taste, but that's what people want to do. And that's what they enjoy doing and putting their money into. There's a ton of strip clubs. There's a ton of sex clubs. There seems to be disproportionately large numbers of people into like BDSM for some reason. Hmm. That's very popular in Second Life. The other thing is the strip clubs interestingly are extremely involved a lot of them have cam like actual the person behind the avatar on webcam and (sighs) those um remote control vibrators so like if you tip them you can actually use the vibrator with them i mean i think that's very interactive and (laughs) i'm for it you know i mean i would just prefer the real deal but you know a lot of people are very into that that's a huge part of the user base that i find very interesting What's but, interesting for me is it's kind of like how the internet was back in the late 90s. Like with AOL. AOL and, and, AOL and, AOL and, and, and similar. similar. And chat all, rooms. All the chat, oh my God, those chat rooms. It's ASL. essentially a chat room except that 
house. You have an avatar. ASL. You have an avatar with parts. That so. meant something. But it's something different back then. Now it's an American Sign Language. <laughs> yeah. So it is what we grew up knowing as cyber sex. But again, people have like their avatars that have like real penis and like vagina that moves and all different kinds of stuff. Which is why I think some people are so addicted to it. The cam thing is a whole other. That's like a real business in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. So with your status in Second Life, I know you're kind of becoming very popular. My blog. You have a blog. What have you done so far that has gotten you this popularity with your blog? I think, I would hope, it's just they like my photo editing. I do enjoy, like I say, drawing or editing pictures. I've always enjoyed that. So this kind of just gave me another outlet to do that with. Different brands will say, looking for bloggers, you can apply between like September 4th and 8th and you can apply. You don't get accepted to every single brand. They definitely have like a look that they look for. Mm -hmm. Like some are very like gothy, some are very sporty, like, you know, different themes, brands. But I currently have four sponsors. Wow. Damn. That's awesome. So what do you have like a personal end goal? Is this something where eventually you want to be self-employed through this or do you just want to continue your hobby? For me, it's very much a hobby. I kind of got started with it when my cat passed away recently and I just needed like a really absorbing right. outlet. I had played Sims for years. I still do. But what drew me to Second Life was it looked like Sims, but on super HD graphics. And I'm very much mm -hmm. like a graphics whore. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Oh, I need to, I want to play this. And it's so yeah, customizable. That's awesome. And they actually decided to take The Sims, the game, in the opposite direction, right? They made it more They basic. made it more cartoony, yeah. which annoys me. Mm -hmm. So oh. I miss the original Sims. <laughs> I used to put my Sims in like the pool and then I would pause the game and take the ladder out. Yes, the closet. Oh <laughs> or the room or, with the fireworks. Or yeah, you would like put yeah. them in the room and then you'd pause the game and you would take the door out and then you would like put like I'd starve. You, <laughs> yes. So pants, like that's what everybody did it even yeah. if they don't admit come to on that. yeah I, I i used to do it as a kid i thought it was the funniest thing yeah, didn't yeah. The, like the slender man girl didn't she do that to her sims and weren't people saying <laughs> that's like that. a warning sign i mean is there anything wrong with killing sims and <laughs> stuff like okay like obviously like, you don't want like someone to like kill a squirrel and you know all those things but if you're getting your aggression out via virtual reality is that bad? I mean, is it really hurting anyone? Or right. how do we feel about that? Hot topic. Okay, to, to answer your question, Mark, I yes. think on the face of it, no, it's pretty harmless. Um, if it's part of a larger pattern of behavior, then maybe it could be a warning sign. Right. It's for me, because I like to run people over. Grand Theft, well, Grand well, Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto. I'm like, <laughs> is there something wrong with me? <laughs> okay, I got quiet in here. <laughs> I do too, don't worry. I think though, you know, again, with the documentary, there was someone who was kind of killing people, um, and I think it came out, well, you can't kill anybody in Second Life, so it's not really killing people, it's just teleporting them home. Essentially, it came out that he had been molested, I think, so I guess it comes from somewhere. A lot of times things like that come from somewhere, somewhere dark. Yeah. Traumatic. Yeah. But in a weird way, that can give you a way to get there, though, to kind of figure out those aspects of yourself that you haven't reconciled. That's true. Yeah. That's very deep. That's really, really deep. <laughs> I just like to dress up. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's like the cool thing. It's, that, it's Yeah, I think those like role playing games are fun for that. For dressing up, for being able to like design your own home, I for love being able to like go places and travel. Like the interaction thing sounds a little weird to me. Um, it's not my personal thing. I know. But I'm like that and I don't play online games. Even GTA Online was the only one I ever played. And even in that, I'm like, I don't want to play with anybody. Yeah, the headphones <laughs> thing is just weird. I've heard of stories of like people like, you know, playing like GTA or like Call of Duty together and they've never met in person and then they all get together for a weekend. Yeah, that's, yeah. Oh. I think some people do meet up from Second Life. I don't know any stories personally. I know somebody who's a gamer every fucking year has all of these friends that he's made come to his house from all over the country. Uh, I knew people that did something similar back in London. 
This is very hard to trust people these days. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't want to be made into a lampshade. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then sold for 300 lindens. Exactly. Yeah, which go. is like, what, $3? <laughs> it's like maybe dollar fifty. Not even three. In a, in a way, you can say it's like making friends any other way or like in a chat room back in the day. Yeah. Well, I met Ashley from MySpace, so. Yeah, I did. Yep, and then I met... I, I met Mark because by of Ashley. way of MySpace, and then I met Mark from. I met Mark on MySpace. Yeah. You did. I yeah. remember this. I didn't meet Tom on MySpace. So long ago. Oh, like I, I definitely didn't meet him on MySpace. <laughs> sure, sure. Like I guess it's the same concept, really, but you have yeah. an avatar. Yeah. Second life. Second life. That was definitely really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I think the intriguing thing is just that with Second Life, it is another universe. It is. And there's a lot to explore. With exploration comes a lot of positive things and then a lot of things that are a little more unusual and off the beaten path. Yeah. I think different opportunities to make money. Yeah, I think that part's great. Like, if you have right. a successful, you know, creating business, you can really do well for yourself. Well, like how we were just saying in our last episode with Kevorkian, like, we could do our own, like, sub-podcast yeah. on Kevorkian. You could absolutely do your own podcast on Second Life. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people use it, too, in the sexual sense. Like, there's definitely some people that, for whatever reason, they can't act out their true feelings, so they go into Second Life. Like, there's a lot of men who have women avatars, so Ooh. a lot. That sounds like that movie, Ready Player One. Did anyone see that, the Spielberg I film? I didn't. I've heard that it, connection it, made a lot. I read the book. You read the book? Yeah. Everybody in Ready Player One, their avatar is not who they are at all. Interesting. Right? Isn't, like, the one avatar another dude that that's really a girl and they wind up falling in love. I think they fall in love, but there's definitely like his best friend. Something, yeah. Is actually a girl in real life, maybe? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. There's a lot of that. People, they want to live out other fantasies. Like some people, they play as a mermaid or a fairy or mm -hmm. like a, I don't know, like a dog. You can pretty much play as anything. <laughs> I think if I had one, I would make the avatar look like me, but only... Potter. Yeah, that's what I went for. And <laughs> I would probably I want. Does. I would probably want like so. gremlin I, ears. You can get those. I have elf ears. Oh, I don't wear them how many, regularly. How many, lin, how many lindens are they? They came with a head, which oh. was I don't oh, even remember yeah. how much it was. I want to look like Gizmo from yeah. Gremlins. Yeah, Mark <laughs> wants to look like the kitty cat plastic surgery lady. Cat. Oh, you could be a plastic surgery person too. What's her name? Cat Wildenstein. Cat Wildenstein, something like. Oscar Wilde said something like, give a man a mask and he'll show you his true face. Oh, there's no, the opening line. There you go. Some things always remain the same. Exactly. And I think that's a very good quote to um, end, on. end this on. But Thank you so much for coming thank on. You, and thank you, Ashley. And thanks, Tom, too. Yes, and thank you to Tom. So, Ashley, for all of our listeners who may or may not have a second life or who may want one or be fascinated, tell us all about your blog, uh, where the people can find you and follow you. Yes, if you want to follow me on Flickr, I'm under Lily Victor. And how do you spell that? L-I-L-I-V-I-C-T-O-I-R-E. And you heard it here. And trust me, it is most definitely worth checking out. And um, the documentary that we reference is on Netflix. Is on Netflix. I believe, what is it? Second Life 2.0? Life 2.0. Life 2.0 yeah. on is, Netflix. It so. is a little dated. Second Life looks way yeah. better. Second than Life that. is much more <laughs> advanced than the film itself, but it'll give you uh, a great perspective for what yeah. it is. So, um,. Make sure to follow us on yeah, Bizarre Buffet yeah, on Instagram and Facebook. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. We're everywhere. You can subscribe anywhere and everywhere. Um, and yeah, uh, patreon.com slash Bizarre Buffet. Give us your money. Give us your money, okay? Give Listen. us your lindens. Give, Listen, us, give us your, your lindens. lindens. And follow Ashley on Flickr. It's a world you want to be a part of. Until next time, my name is Susan Sarandon. And I'm Gizmo from Gremlins. And I'm a Linden. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.